Hey everybody, Bumps of the Night. Don't forget to stick around for the after credits scene which details Josh Weissock's origins. <laughs> Welcome back to the Horror Brood, everybody. I am joined <clears throat> by my stunning crew here. I've got Brandon Syme, Zach Baby Hi. TV, Little Yami. I'm Bumps in the Night, and we have a special guest tonight. This is introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Josh White Sock. <laughs> yes, this is Josh White Sock. Believe it or not, Josh's son has actually come out to see me in that because Mr. Wasaki was so busy. So thanks I for like joining. Hot dogs. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Mr. Wasaki. <laughs> Okay, so this sweet motherfucker, this would be a good podcast. <laughs> I can't even see him in the camera. Zach, wait! Talking. Since you're talking, I'm gonna talk! <laughs> Everyone shut up and pay to me! Okay. You know, instead of doing a horror review, we should review anime! Okay. This week, we are reviewing Return of the Living Dead. Which was shot in what was it, 86 or 87? I don't know! <laughs> I'm a, a fucking star! I think it was 86. Yeah, um, <laughs> so this was, I had never seen this movie until we saw this. This was Matt's, aka Liami's pick, and uh, this was an 80s gym. And actually, I'm really sad for Josh not seeing this because if he had never seen it before, the amount of titties in this were insane. Like, yeah, I thought he would have been here for this one. Yeah, well, his son's here in his place, so he's eating a hot dog right now. <laughs> it's delicious! Matt, do you want to give us some of the plot? Yeah. So, there are two people, and they work in a medical supply facility, and uh, they're just kind of shooting the shit. Uh, the younger one, Freddy, Freddy, yes, says, uh, you know, oh, what's, what's the, the craziest shit you've seen here? And the older one, Frank, Frank, I like Franks! <laughs> yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he says, you'll never believe it. You remember that movie, Not a Little and Good? I remember it! What's the weirdest thing you've ever saw in here? Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Apparently it was real, and they have the chemical that turned the zombies animated. Back in 1969 in Pittsburgh at the VA hospital, there was a chemical spill. What chemical? 245 trioxin, it's called. In the basement. They go downstairs, Frank, being a dumb fuck, uh, the now hits, hits it. Hey, these things don't leak, do they? Leak? Hell no, these things were made by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah. I roll that one! <laughs> so, yeah, they, uh, basically unleash, uh, a zombie apocalypse of great proportions with zombies who not only are smart enough to open doors <laughs> and run. call for backup and run they also the the two main characters i guess you call them frank and freddy freddy start turning into zombies excuse me so, Freddy's friends come to the medical supply store. And they kind of get caught up in it. Hey, Tina! Oh, God! Help me! In short, this was, was your standard zombie film. You know, they want to eat people or brains. How do you eat people? Not people. Brains. But it was an interesting twist because essentially... Hold on. Brains. I gotta feed... I gotta feed him his brain food. Essentially, the zombies were smart, sentient, and can run. And, I mean, that's scary as fuck. The fact that they were able to call for backup and stuff and still use, like, their speech patterns, like, it was creepy. And the whole reason they wanted brains, though, was because the brains took away the pain of being dead. Not the pain. The pain of being dead. I can feel myself rot. I don't know about pain! The whole movie, you know, it's your standard run-of-the-mill 80s movie. The military was the reason that the zombies were around in a way because they made a mistake and dropped the bodies, but... What do you guys think of, like, practical effects? I mean, it, I love 80s practical effects and that shit was there. 
Uh, I, personally really I thought like it pretty what? funny, especially done in the basement and stuff when that monster's The Tar Man. Yeah. He goes, bad, I'm like, he got, I started laughing. <laughs> it was like, alright, it wasn't bad. Yeah, no, definitely. I wasn't scared, I'm not gonna rate it a zero, like, sock boy, but it's, it was, it was alright, like, it was worth watching, because, like, you, I've never seen it either, so. Yeah, it was nice to actually check it out. Yeah. Brandon, what'd you think about it? I really liked the gore effects that they did, like, it was pretty gory. All like that old half body with the fake old saggy titties. I can feel myself rot. Yeah. Or redhead square eighties. Let me get naked and get eaten, chick. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Like, otherwise, I actually thought like the first zombie that came out. I'm like, that's iconic. Like I know that guy. <laughs> I've seen the memes. Yeah, I've seen memes about this movie, but I've never actually seen the movie. Did anybody recognize the Spider was his name? He was the black actor from uh, Friday Part 5. He was like, oh, I ain't enchiladas. I got yeah, I recognized him. I couldn't figure out where he's from. Some damn enchiladas. Oh. You gonna be all right? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I was like, ooh, I know him. He's the one who dies. Yeah, I also about... know him. <laughs> he, he dies so singing about enchiladas on the toilet. It's great. Actual waters are delicious! We get better than that! Huh. Hot dogs! Anyway, uh, um... <laughs> as you guys do notice, Josh really isn't with us. He said he needed two weeks off to focus on his channel. And then he tried to take another week off, and he pissed me off. Oh, so this is why Josh is now here. What's that? That's very... Do you, so he wants three weeks now? Well, he's like, well, we didn't do an episode last week because I got my car. And he's like, so I'm still counting that as not taking a week out. Yeah, I'm like, you. Fuck you. How about that? And I made the puppet. So, yeah, we are. He might never come back. Let's start with Zach. Name one thing you liked about the film. I I just like zombie movies in general. Whether it's bad or good, I still... I just like zombies a lot. So I, I like I like 80s films. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely got some cheese in this film. Zach, I have to correct you there! I don't know. I like... Hey! Hey! Listen to me! Zach! I have to correct you there! They're not zombies! They're reanimated corpses! Okay? That definitely sounds like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Brandon! My name is Josh! Oh I like the cemetery scene. Like, the, when they were locked up in the building and all that, that was cool, but it was the cemetery that grabbed me. That I like Breaking the out of the earth kind of deal? Or I like the zombie yeah, I like that. That was my thing, yeah. When the boobies were there, and they were all white and mm, creamy. Mm. <laughs> hold on, hold, hold your sock horses. Brandon, tell us something you liked about the film. You like the boobs. <laughs> I loved how corny it was. But yeah. at the time, do you think it would have been corny if you were watching it in the 80s when that was like the top of line effects? Oh, God, no. I actually would have thought it was like actually kind of terrifying, actually. I, I think they did the. Uh, but they... the nun wasn't? Really? Oh, God. That wasn't corn in the movie! Those were boobs! <laughs> I saw a lady penis, too! It had no hair! Just like mine! Max, what is something you liked about the movie? Josh, can I say it? What do you think? Josh just... Just... Just not start the mouth gone! Okay, <laughs> Josh... <laughs> it's a spooky sock. Shh! <laughs> Piece of fuck. Can't see now. Fuck you! <laughs> anyway, Matt, tell us something you liked about the film. I really like the effects. I love the plot. I love the fact that the zombies come in hordes. They run, they talk. I really like the fact they talk. The scene with the lady on the table, where she has the spine out, and it just hits the table. Yeah, like a cat tail. I love that. Josh, what's something you liked about the film? Well, if you didn't know already, I just didn't like anything. Except for the boobs. So, okay, yeah, you hate fun, so that makes sense. <laughs> I personally, and like I said, I enjoyed the effects. The gore was great. I really enjoyed the when they started breaking out of the ground scene. Like, that shit. That hit. See, that's not realistic. 
That's what I look for in a movie. Your mom's not realistic because she had you. My mom is a real person. <laughs> okay, so how did everybody feel about the ending, starting with Zach, when they dropped the tactical nuke? It was all right. It kind of yeah. It was all right. I mean, they did they did the same thing with Resident Evil Two with Rocket City. It was just an abrupt ending. Bra all right. Brandon, how did you feel about the ending? Same way. I was just like, okay, whatever. It's like a normal zombie ending, kind of, it seemed like to me. Matt, how would you feel about the ending? You know, I like it. Um, I thought all the characters were assholes, so I was okay to see them die. All right. Uh, Josh, how would you feel about the ending? You know, it wasn't realistic. That missile, it didn't have a real SKU number on it. I could tell it wasn't a real missile. Pissed me off. It's a zero. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't... That's probably one of my only complaints about older movies in general. It doesn't have to be 80s-wise, but in general, when a movie spends so much time dragging out the plot that the ending is, like, five minutes short and it's just, like, done, I don't like that. Like, I like a clean conclusion, you know? I mean, fuck, they use still frames in the very end. There's a picture of the zombies looking up. There's a picture of Freddy busting through the ceiling and a picture of just, like, the nuke. Like, I... I guess, uh, I don't know, there's a sequel. Maybe it's better in the sequel ending-wise. Why don't we get into ratings? Starting with Matt, since this was his choice. You know, I'd give it a solid 8. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Alrighty. Zach, what would you rate this film? Probably a 6.5. Alright. Josh Wapsaki puppet thing? No comment! Brandon! <laughs> I'll give it an 8. <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna give it a 7, so let me do some quick math. Why he does that? Zach, I need to talk to you. Listen here. I heard that you used to rap. Is that true? Yeah. I love it. I want to rap too. Okay. What would your rap name be? I want to be called Four Skinner. Four Skinner? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Drop me a beat. <laughs> no. We have we have the score. Drop a beat. <laughs> how about, hang on. Here. How about I feed you a hot dog while we get to our answers here? My flow is heat. I'm a sock, but I ain't got no feet. Group rating, 7.25 once I round it up. <clears throat> so, C plus, not bad. Yay! Uh, it's my turn next in rotation, and I am going with as above, so below. Nice. Yes. So if you haven't seen it, it's like a 2014 kind of like urban exploration meets found footage, except the camera wasn't found. It's the same people who have it the whole time, so that's a plus. Like, a not shitty version of National Treasure, if you will with a four aspect reference Dante's Inferno <clears throat> so we look forward to that let's hit the closing statements starting with Zach do you have anything for the crowd just more tales Brandon I'm going to do a Nightmare on Elm Street series review soon okay, okay. you can't do that because I'm doing it yeah, he just did a <clears throat> he just did a Friday the Thirteenth. He's gonna copyright and friend you for stealing his material. As everyone knows, I changed my name recently to Bumps the Night, so I've got a lot of projects kind of like at the end of the conveyor belt. So give me some time. Work's been handing my ass to me. And slowly but surely, it's coming. But my first video is three zombie stories, and it's like forty five minutes long. So that'll keep you nice and happy. Are they zombies or are they reanimated corpses? Guess you'll have to watch and find out, you piece of fuck. We'll see you at Pizza Loney's. All right. So, as always... Uh, Wait! I got an announcement! I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Josh Wasaki Puppet, what could it be? I got a new hat! I see that. Thank you! As always, if you like our podcast, you want to support us, go to teespring.com slash ZachBabyTV. Pick yourself up a four burrito shirt. We have stickers. We have coffee mugs. Or just support Never. Zach. Link in the description below. We thank you for your viewership. We just broke, what, this is our, we just passed the year, one year, one year, one anniversary. We'll be getting close here to the season finale once we make it back around again and take time off for the holidays. All right, everybody, time for that well-promised origin of Josh Wysock. Stick around after this credit scene to see how he was made. This is Josh This is a story about a Jewish son. How he came, or should I say his dad came, into a cotton polyester blend foot cover. And the little sock came to be. Crusty sock, crusty sock.
came to life, dad was shocked. Crusty sock, crusty sock, baby boy learned how to talk. Oh! Oh, 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 o